New residential developments pop up everywhere. But this one in Vista has a special focus. What we did here at uh, Paseo Artist Village was to um, to provide the the resources of a work area for artists as well as a artist gallery along with affordable apartments in one place. Mary Jane Jagodzinski is with Community Housing Works, a nonprofit organization that develops affordable apartment communities in California. While they operate different properties in San Diego, Paseo Artist Village is the only one that is art focused. Many artists get priced out of out of gentrifying areas um, where they can no longer afford to live and the rent. So it's really important to provide um, affordable apartments that um, that that they can remain and be part of the fabric of the community. The village has 60 units, an art gallery, a community room, and resources for residents. Applications were open to local artists, veterans seniors and their families. One bedrooms at the, the lowest level of, of income, um, rent would be about a little over $550 a month. Um, a three bedroom at the highest income, rent would be a little more than $1,350 a month. So when you hear of these astronomical rents today, you can see these really are affordable. And affordable living is what Addie Seeley needed to continue creating. I moved back down here from Los Angeles after I graduated from Cal State Long Beach, Go Beach. And um, I was looking for a place as I moved in with my son. And I moved into the garage. Now in her apartment at Paseo Artist Village, she has the space to create what she pleases at an affordable price. I am on a fixed income and after I pay the rent and everything else that I'm responsible for, yeah, I might have about 60 bucks left for the month. Seely says creating art is what keeps her busy. She paints, makes glass art, ceramics, and jewelry. But she still has a little doubt in her work. I think every artist goes through a phase where they are not necessarily I don't know if I want to do this. Uh, no, this isn't good enough. Uh, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And that's that was me. Seely says that doubt may fade away with the art gallery available to residents. Louis Ferres also lives at Paseo Artist Village. His main source of income is from working with children with autism. But in his free time, he draws and paints. Doing art is almost a form of therapy. Um, so, you know, it, it can help with your mental health expressing yourself through a, a new medium. Ferres says the affordability of his new apartment lets him spend more time doing what he loves. I believe that it's a necessary part of life that sort of been neglected with our fast-paced way of living. Developers of the property say the project synchronizes with Vista's revitalization of their arts and culture district. Vista Council member Corina Contreras says she's happy to see a development that is making places for all. I wanna see a revitalization continue to happen where we're not displacing people. Uh, that's the most important thing because a lot of people are afraid of gentrification and what the implications are for them and their families and the future of their families. More events and opportunities are on the way at the Paseo Artist Village, including a popular sandwich chain taking on the retail space. Um, tons of people. Um, enjoy Jimmy John's, and uh, we're going to have the first one here in Vista. San Diego's first Jimmy John sandwich chain is expected to open in Vista next year. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.